My name is Matthias Hebrock. I'm the director of the Diabetes Center here at UCSF. As it turns out, my father has had diabetes now for 45 plus years. And uh, to be honest with you, it was not the main reason why I got involved in diabetes research. I'll tell you in a second how that happened. But my mom always tells the story. We were driving from one place uh, to the next in, in Germany in, in a small village. She had to actually interfere and, and put her hand into the steering wheel because he was going off the street. And next thing we knew, that he has, was diagnosed with diabetes. When I grew up, it never really was a big problem. Yes, dad had diabetes and he couldn't eat exactly the chocolate, but then he was sneaking out and, and got a different piece of chocolate. But other than that, he was fine. And I think it was a different time at that point because he thought by just measuring his glucose levels every third day or so, he was ahead of the curve. And as it turns out, he wasn't. Um, now he, we have the repercussions of his disease. He's in his mid-80s now. But now it, it truly is one of my inspirations to go and, and find something that we can use against this disease. Because what it really does is it sneaks up on you. You're perfectly fine, you don't feel anything, but at some point you pay the price and often this price that you pay is, is not pretty. The reason why I got involved in diabetes in the first place probably was I got my PhD at the Max Planck Institute in Germany. And then afterwards I looked around a number of places I probably would like to go and do my postdoctoral training with. And as it turns out, I interviewed with someone at Harvard, his name is Doug Melton. I come and, and I talk to him and what he said is, well, I'm not going to do what I used to do. I'm going to work on the pancreas. And the pancreas is an organ that at that point didn't really have registers for me as, as an area that I would like to study. And so I said, that's interesting. Why do you want to do this? He said, well, you know, there are certain areas we just don't understand. Some questions are, I just want to delve into this. I want to change the field. So then I go home and ask my mentors back at the Max Planck. And I say, I really like Doug. But he wants to work on the pancreas. And I really don't know why he wants to do that. And so then they said, well, you probably should know that his son was diagnosed when he was, I think, six months old with type 1 diabetes. And that struck me as, as a fantastic reason because Doug had already achieved so much in his career, but he all threw it away in a way and said, look, I'm going to start fresh. I'm going to work on something that has a translational aspect. I use not only my experience and knowledge, but the experience and, and expertise of my lab now to work towards finding a cure for this disease. And that struck me as something that I would like to be part of.